Iran's Red Sea power play heightens fears of trade disruption. Iran's dispatch of a warship to the Red Sea is its most audacious move yet to challenge U.S. forces in the key trade route, emboldening Houthi militants whose missiles have disrupted shipping over the past two months. Tehran is unlikely to want direct confrontation, its old frigate being no match for the U.S.-led maritime task force patrolling the waters off Yemen, but it takes the projection of Iranian power in the region to another level. That's raising tensions after the Houthis started attacking vessels they claimed were headed to or owned by firms in Israel in a bid to end the military assault on Gaza. Growth headwinds and policy shifts weigh on greater China sector outlooks. Fitch Ratings Hong Kong January 2, 2024 A number of sectors in greater China still face challenges from slowing growth and the government's evolving policy response, says Fitch Ratings. Nonetheless, most rated sectors will face largely steady operational and business conditions, underpinned by the government's supportive policy measures, and China's demand growth will remain solid compared with that of most large global economies. Meanwhile, Taiwan should benefit from a recovery in the semiconductor sector, after a severe sector downturn in 2023. Total U.S. public debt tops $34 trillion as Congress heads into funding fight. Washington, Jan 2, Reuters, the U.S. federal government's total public debt has reached $34 trillion for the first time, the U.S. Treasury Department reported on Tuesday as members of Congress gear up for another series of federal funding battles in coming weeks. The Daily Treasury statement for Friday showed that the total public debt outstanding rose to $34.001 trillion from $33.911 on Thursday. 2024 starts with Bitcoin breakout, crude collapse, mega cap meltdown. Weaker than expected construction spending data and a dismal, final, manufacturing PMI print for December suggested 2024 is not off to the Goldilocks start so many hoped for. Treasury yields were up across the board with the short end underperforming, 2Y plus 9 basis points, 30Y plus 5 basis points. Yields gapped higher to open and then traded in a narrow range from the European open. U.S. dollar to Japanese yen forecast, impact of U.S. jolts, U.S. manufacturing PMI, and FOMC minutes. Market bets on Bank of Japan's move sway U.S. dollar to Japanese yen. Wage negotiations hold the key. Baj governor hinted at waiting until after spring wage talks. The U.S. dollar to Japanese yen gained 0.71% on Tuesday, ending the session at 141.979. On Wednesday, the focus will be on the U.S. jolts jobs report, ISM manufacturing PMI, and FOMC meeting minutes. Investors must track Bank of Japan commentary throughout the session. Thank you.